Residents across Los Angeles are being terrorized by burglars who police say are using Wi-Fi jammers to disable security cameras, allowing them to get into people's homes undetected. The blockers disrupt signals between security cameras and video feeds, including systems like Ring and Nest cameras. Samantha Cortese is live in Glendale with a look at how this technology is contributing to a rise in home burglaries. Sam. Micah and Cher, truly unsettling when you rely on your security system to keep an eye out when you're not home. But we spoke with one security expert who said there's one thing you can do right now tonight to help prevent these thieves from hacking into, jamming, blocking, disabling your Wi-Fi system. The alarm company's not triggered, we're not triggered, and they're able to get in the home undetected. A new trend in crime, Wi-Fi jammers. These small devices, recently used in Glendale burglaries, pause the internet at someone's house so thieves can break in without being on security camera. They're choosing homes in, in some cases that they, they know to be unoccupied and they turn on this device that cuts the signal, that cuts their ring cameras as well as their alarm system. It's happening a lot, um, not just Glendale but other places. In Studio City, people on Delano Street reached out to us saying in the last three months, there have been six to seven break-ins, usually in the evening. Thieves are on camera holding a device, then the Wi-Fi cuts out. LAPD says the investigation is ongoing, but can confirm cameras were disabled. The jammers are very dangerous. In fact, they're certainly illegal. If you get caught with a jammer, it's an $11,000 fine from the FCC. Scott Shover is a wireless security expert. He says short of hardwiring your whole house, there's one easy change you can make right now. Put your router and modem in the middle of your property. They could bring a jammer outside of the house, and now it makes it a little bit challenging them for them to actually interfere with the signal if it's toward the center of your home. He says these devices are being made in China. They're cheap, and they're coming into the U.S. at a rapid pace. There's over 100,000 a month that's been recorded that have been coming into, funneling into the United States. So it's a huge, huge problem. Earlier this week, you may have seen this story on KTLA, and it's still on our website, KTLA.com. LAPD reporting a trend of crime tourism, where people mostly from South America are targeting uh, expensive homes and neighborhoods throughout Southern California. And in that interview with local media, LAPD said that Wi-Fi blockers are being used to help avoid a weapons charge because if it's not on camera and they don't have it with them, uh, these people coming from Southern America are also uh, not getting weapons. So they're using this Wi-Fi blocker as a way to prevent getting caught and ensure their own safety. In Glendale, Samantha Cortese.